good evening everyone today we are going to see how to estimate the orifice size for addition of a specific liquid reagent and in our last video we have seen how to perform the addition time or how to calculate the addition time of a specific reactant into the reaction mass at a given temperature and utility and if you haven't watched the video so we will be providing the link in the description please check it and this particular uh, orifice size estimation is going to be the continuation for the last video so i have taken the same excel sheet where we have estimated the addition time for the reagent and using this specific addition time we are going to calculate the orifice diameter and here we got an addition time of 2.82 hours and for better understanding i will be taking the a small PFT so I'll try a small PFT to have some better understanding let's say this is a receiver and in this receiver we got a reagent and the volume is going to be approx 50% And we are going to dose this 50% reagent available into the reactor. And let's say this is a, a reactor where we need to dose the reactant under stirring. And we are dosing this under gravity. So usually this is going to be the case in pharmaceutical industries where we are going to dose the reactant slowly to control the exothermicity so let's say this is the case and now we want to calculate the orifice diameter and the orifice we have placed somewhere here So just consider this is the orifice plate just above the reactor and we are going to control the flow using this and in the above case we have seen how to estimate the addition time and depending upon this addition time today we are going to calculate the orifice diameter so for an instance let's consider the total volume inside the receiver is going to be 400 liter and we need to add an approx this 2.82 hours so the addition rate so this is going to be total volume divided by the addition time so this is going to be in liter per hour and I'll be converting this into meter cube per second by dividing with thousand and again with 3600 so this is going to be in meter cube per second so usually what will happen is whenever you got certain quantity inside the receiver so whenever we got certain reactant quantity inside the receiver what will happen is as the quantity is going to reduce automatically the flow is going to get reduced why because just because of the pressure which is being applied on the orifice so the flow is going to vary as the height is going to reduce automatically the pressure is going to reduce so the flow will reduce so in order to just avoid these things what we need to do is we have to apply a mild nitrogen pressure from the top so that we can maintain constant pressure continuously so I'll show you how to do this and so just have a pressure gauge or a pressure transmitter just over the receiver I think it's not a big deal having a pressure cage and in this pressure cage so just maintain constant pressure and you can maintain the constant pressure by applying nitrogen at the top and by closing the vent line okay so this is 
nitrogen point and this is the pressure cage so here in this case to maintain constant pressure or to maintain the constant flow the pressure is being applied approx so i am applying a mild pressure of 0.15 kg per centimeter square gauge and i am going to convert this particular pressure drop into bars by multiplying with 0.980665 so this is in bars and again i am going to convert this bars into pascals this is going to be 10 power 5 and this is in pascals and now the formula for calculating the orifice diameter is the cross sectional area equals to the volumetric flow rate divided by the cd this is going to be the coefficient of discharge and this is going to be 2 into rho this is the density sorry this is uh, 2 into delta p which is being applied and divided by the density whole to the power 0.5 so this is the formula that we will be using, uh, using to calculate the area like the cross section area of the orifice and coming to the parameters the coefficient of discharge so this is going to be uh, like I will be considering it in the range of 0.8 the reason is the coefficient of discharge is nothing but a efficiency of the orifice we can say in other words like the actual discharge it's a ratio of actual discharge to the ideal discharge so i'll be taking it as 0.8 and depending upon the symmetry of the orifice this particular coefficient of discharge is going to vary so here in this case i have taken it as 0.8 and the next thing is the delta p so delta p we already know so this delta p is nothing but the pressure which is available on the overhead space of the receiver minus the pressure which is available inside the reactor since the window of the reactor is in open condition i will be taking the gauge pressure inside the reactor as zero so 0 0.15 minus zero is going to be 0 0.15 so the delta p is equals to this and this is in pascals and the next thing is the density so i will be taking the density as approx 1500 kg per meter cube so once this is done so we can perform the calculation so the cross section area A equals to volumetric flow rate divided with the coefficient of discharge multiplied with 2 into delta P so this is in pascals and this is going to be again divided with the density to the power 0 0.5 and this is in meter square so let's convert this meter square into diameter so it's 4 into the cross section area divided by 3.141 power 0.5 and this is in meters so just multiply it with thousand so this is in mm i'll convert this scientific into a number so this is going to be approx 3.77 mm so let's consider it as approx 4 mm considering the variability in the pressure so i'm making it as approx 4 mm so this is so we need to estimate the orifice diameter for a specific addition time and the volume and if you have any questions in this video please write us at pharmacalci823 at the rate gmail.com and for your convenience i'll be attaching this spreadsheet in the description so you can download using the download link which is placed in the description and if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and also you can share the videos with your dear ones. 
so thanks for watching the video